What's up everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be covering off the best way to apply liquids based on your lawn size and maybe even budget. So I'm going to run through a bunch of different options here and let's just take a look at what could be the best for you to apply those liquid fertilizers, fungicides, insecticides, herbicides, whatever you may be doing the most efficient way possible. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. What's up everybody? Okay, so first things first, you have your lawn, you have your lawn size, you need to know what that is before you can kind of go through and start figuring some of these things out. And I'm gonna start basically with all of you with smaller lawns. And this is going to be say 3,000 square feet or less, 3,000 square feet or less. So obviously one of the most simple ways to get product out is something that you've seen a million times by now because pretty much everyone has one in their shed or their garage is a hose end sprayer like the Ortho. The Ortho is very, very easy to use. Uh, it couldn't be simpler actually to put that thing out. And if you have a smaller lawn, you don't really have to worry about dragging a whole lot of weight with the hose around. You can spray everything out at a pretty fast pace, which is nice. So there's quite a few different manufacturers of hose in sprayers. So you kind of have a lot of choices. I've used the Chameleon, I've used a Chapin, I've used a Blue Mule. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones that you can try. They all pretty much ultimately give you the same effect. You have a mix rate via a siphon, it pulls up the concentrated material, puts it out down onto the ground, and again, very easy to sort of follow along once you know the flow rates. The second thing that can be worked really well with small lawns and even moving up into the next category, which would say 3,000 to maybe 6,000 square foot lawns. At 3,000 to 6,000, while you still can use a hose in sprayer, and quite a few people do, maybe you start thinking that pulling a hose around is going to be a little bit too much. So that's where the backpack sprayer comes in handy. Battery power backpack sprayers are wonderful and they don't actually have to even be a backpack powered one. For years and years and years, a regular pump sprayer on the back worked just fine. However, with the way so many different things are going now by having a battery powered backpack, you actually get a more consistent flow. You can easily go out and do all the work and get things down. Now here's a couple of things to consider in the backpack sprayer territory. You can put pretty much anything through it. Like I said, weed controls, uh, you can put through your fertilizers, you can do all kinds of things. However, with your fertilizers, it's important to note that if you're trying to get full rates of liquids out at, at high doses, you are going to have to water that in or make multiple passes. There isn't enough water volume to really get a good to get a good even dispersion without the risk of burning your turf if you're going at say higher rates of nitrogen. So with backpack sprayers, I would say that they are wonderful for a wide variety of applications. Loads and loads and loads of people are using those for all of those things that I mentioned. And just consider that again, water volume is something that has to be looked at. And then can you carry the weight? And remember that with like a four gallon backpack, you're gonna be carrying at least 40 pounds on your back when you go out and do that once when you first get started. So for some people that can be a little bit heavy and maybe that's not the best route to go which is going to lead into the next thing, injection systems. I love injection systems, and this can go on any size lawn. It really doesn't matter, small to big, doesn't really make a difference. In my time, I have installed three or 400 of these units uh, as far as the in-ground kind, and then they also have the hose bib style that you can connect that are not meant for constant pressure. The in-ground systems, you can run up to massive sizes. Uh, smallest being about a gallon and a third uh, with the Easy Flow Corporation. I think the largest they make is somewhere around a 25 gallon and those are rated for heavy PSI and can handle any size lawn you throw at it. It really doesn't make a difference. So a couple things to consider when, when you're looking at an injection system. One, are you going to be trying to do this through your in-ground irrigation or are you going to be doing it off of your hose? The couple of things I would caution about are this. You need to make sure that your system is set up properly enough to where you're not going to have anything overspraying, hitting your house, hitting your driveway, hitting your cars, hitting anything like that. If you're going to be filling fertilizers into there, cause that can cause some 
issues to surrounding say outbuildings or you know cars and, and things like that you really want to make sure that your your system is in place and it's working properly that's the same thing that goes if it's an above ground system so if you have sprinklers you're setting out you really want to make sure that that thing is dialed in and you're not just over spraying all over the place because that is careless for one and it can cause a mess for two these systems are not meant for any type of pesticide whether that's an insecticide herbicide or fungicide you do not put those in there that is not a proper way to apply any of those materials you need to follow the labels on those and injection is no way to go if you're applying chemical you will still need a backpack or a hose in sprayer in order to accomplish those applications so then there's the push sprayer i think the push sprayers are pretty cool they start to get a little bit higher in cost so these push sprayers can either be battery powered or they can be actuated by the wheels running through a pumping system and now we can start looking at lawns that are going from six to even twenty thousand square feet pretty easily and even maybe even up to an acre you're going to refill it, but no more than you would if you were pushing a granular spreader that held 50 pounds. You're getting about the same amount of coverage. It's not really all that different. So you're pushing around the same weight. Uh, you can get a pretty good consistent pattern and it's just the same. You're gonna refill it the same amount of times as you were running granular anyway. So these can range anywhere between $350 and $650, depending on the company that you go with. So they can start to get a little bit pricey. Now, in some of those cases, if I had a lawn that was that big, I would probably lean towards the injection side first, where I could put something in the ground and not have to think about a whole lot that's going to run anywhere between 180 and say 250 bucks, and then you're just refilling it kind of at your leisure. So now if we jump up into the larger size lawns, once we go acre plus, and uh, there's quite a few of you out there that are dealing with large, large areas of turf, Management becomes a lot more difficult. The expense is obviously very high, but then there's probably certain equipment that you already have on hand that could make this next one work really well. ATV sprayers, whether boom or boomless, are fantastic. And uh, there's one that's available at Tractor Supply that actually has a separate tank that you put your chemical in, and then your water stands alone in 25 gallons. This unit only runs about 199 bucks, and the boom sprayer attachment is about another 30 or 40 to add to it. So this is a pretty inexpensive thing that can be rigged up to even a riding lawnmower or put on a cart behind one or uh, on the back of a as some sort of an ATV. So I would think that for the most part, anybody who's over an acre has something that they're using powered rather than walking that property over and over and over. Now, a friend of mine, he puts a little toe behind his zero turn mower and just drags that thing around whenever he wants to fertilize and he uses just a Fimco style boom sprayer and it works fantastic. There's enough water in there, it can spray up to 2.8 gallons a minute so you can really get things moving and put out high volume product simply. So no matter what you're really looking into as far as your lawn size go, you, there's, there's always these different options that can get you from point A to point B and obviously it's going to come down to expense and ease and i think that that's one of the biggest things that people kind of get confused with when you're applying liquid it's actually one of the most simple things you can do and your coverage with it is fantastic as compared to a granular you're going to coat everything out here in the lawn and really give it a good chance to work its best now this can hold true in particular with things like pre-emergent and using say a wettable powder or even a liquid pre-emergent application rather than doing a granular because we get great coverage and i do get plenty of emails about that particular subject where people have gone out with granular uh, based prodiamine or something like that and just had crabgrass invasions like crazy once they switched over to liquid they got a much better control because they were able to really get things down and get everything coated around so really all you have to think about in that type of uh, equation when you're trying to get your mind around it is that 100% dispersion, 100% coverage will get you with the liquids. And if you're doing a granular, you're going to have a here and there, here and there, here and there. And it is possible to get breakthrough a little more, which is why people tend to lean towards the liquid side. Now, a lot of that can also be said for fertilizer as well. We're just getting a much cleaner coverage across the entire lawn. It's so simple to get out and you don't really have anything to fear. When you're following along with the label rates on everything that comes your direction, the application is very, very simple. Follow the label, put it in the container, mix it with the water, have a ball. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick one on this to just touch on some 
products that could be out there that might help you to get a little bit better understanding of how all of this stuff works and just really truly how simple it is to have a beautiful lawn running liquids all the time and quite frankly just have kick-ass grass so that's it i'll talk to you guys soon see ya